It first happened in 2010. First incident we had back a couple years ago that a child was left at uh, Salvation Army. That incident landed then 21-year-old Cora Lynn Watkins in jail and placed on probation for abandoning the first child. Now it's an ongoing thing, so now uh, the court system is going to deal with it now. So. Four years later, it happens again. This time, police say the 25-year-old abandoned her newborn baby boy in a storage unit behind her mother's home on Pittsburgh Street in Houston. According to Police Chief Billy Voiles, kids were playing outside when they heard a baby crying and they went back inside and got some of the family members and they went out to the storage shed and found the little baby out there wrapped up in a blanket. He says family members rushed the baby to Trace Regional Hospital where they later airlifted him to Le Bonner in Memphis. Now here's where the story gets more bizarre. Voyle says Watkins delivered the baby on her own, dropped the newborn off in the shed, and then returned back to work. That's when family members intervened. Tried to get up with mom on the telephone, couldn't get up with her, so they went to her job and got her and took her to the ER. Watkins is currently being treated at North Mississippi Medical Center in Tupelo, where she should be released in the next few days. That's when police will arrest her and charge her with one felony count of abandonment of a child under the age of six years old and one felony count of abuse of a newborn. Next door neighbor Karen Helms says she's shocked to hear the news. There's so many people out there today that would give anything for a newborn baby that can't have any. I can't wrap around my head how anybody could ever, ever do something like that to an innocent child. Voyle says Watkins was released from probation last month from the 2010 case. In Houston, Tyler Hill, WTVA News.